top stitching and that will be fine as it is or you can I've fused this tuck that in all the way along and top stitch it there's so many ways of doing it right and some of you might be looking at it and thinking well I wouldn't put the fab main fabric on top anyway I would have had the lining on top yes you can put the lining on top and then when you've got the lining on top you've you've turned it under that way so you'd have the line the line on top and you don't see this fabric right but then you've got to now painfully top stitch no not top stitch hand stitch this bit here to the fabric now who wants to do now have you ever experienced hand stitching and going through the buckle it is very painful so why not do it the easy way so long as it doesn't show through the, the window the outside of the window because the um, either the cornice or something's in the way so this bit doesn't show most of the time so please don't waste your time so anyway so we've done the pleats so there is your first pleat so what we do now there is your space there's the pleat we put pin to pin fold it now this is pinch pleat so I can really give it a good crease right so I fold it there and I've made sure this is right angle so now I'm going to fold it again where the pins are, right? Give it a good crease. And that, you can see there's a shadow going now. That is what I'm going to use as my guide for stitching. Or failing that, take your tailor's chalk, get your ruler and draw a line and follow the, the stitching if you're not confident in stitching a straight line. And I'm going to do this all the way along until I've finished just like the goblets I've showed you in my other video um, I'm doing this the upside down this time oh it doesn't matter I'm feeling it and right there is where the buck on finish so I'm gonna start there give it a good back stitch because believe you me it needs it remove the pins So that's the first one that's done. But what I do here from here now is I now push this down and hold the center, put it towards the center of there. Can you see that shape? Get them even by checking, checking each one all the way down, get it even, fold it, fold it. So you can see that develop if you're not satisfied with that then you just do it again push that in a bit more and get it but that's fine and then this is where you break a lot of needles look for the part where it's the weakest because you don't have to you don't stitch on top of the buckram you go for the weak section and you stitch going across at an angle, right angle, to meet the back. We've done this section here. So now we're going to pinch all of these just like this one. And then it's with oh no, then you just have to tack these down. So let me get on with doing this now. And see how many more needles we can break. You don't have an industrial machine you, you have to sew it by hand but <laughs> I, rather, I prefer to break the needles than to sew by hand <laughs> as I said before I've had carpal tunnel and this does give you carpal tunnel it helps so that I can do it out let's go down there let's make it seven inches yeah I like it there the thing is I've got the machine up there that can actually handle this and I just can't want to move to it.
keeping it silly. If I break another needle on, I'm going to have to move to it. Have a feel, have a feel of how stiff that is. What I'm doing now is up the top here, this is flapping around, so I'm securing this so it's nice like that. Right, so here we have it now. It's finished. And the same again, where's that wood? There we are for the wood not bad and then it will be going round the corner so there and it goes round the corner so I'd say that's fantastic and there is our finished product and demo don't forget later on I'm going to cover these woods so it'll be really tidied up and then the shop that it's going in if I can get a picture of it I'll show you it in its home in its environment and there it goes so what else am I going to do now? I've done pencil pleat for you. I've done pinch pleats, tape. I've done goblets. What else can I do? Running out of ideas. Hmm. Oh, you've seen swags already. I've done a swag in this fabric. done the swag in this fabric I've got to tidy it up but that's done um, oh yes I'm gonna do a Roman blind okay then thank you for watching my show I'm sorry you didn't see much of me but here I am thank you for watching my show um, the next thing I'm gonna do is um, a, just a little Roman blind because it's gonna be a sample in the shop so I'm gonna get that ready and if I can think of anything else to show you, I will do that. So bye.